All right, let's get ready to build an awesome submarine. So our submarine's gonna come with an additional mini sub on top, and we're gonna have a display stand for it, as well as some mini figs. There's an entranceway with a periscope. Here we've got our mini figs, and those aren't barrels. Next to those are depth charges. I'll show you how that works in a moment. And we've got some seaweed or some sort of, I don't know, ocean kind of plants that this comes with. And even if you don't have this set, most of these pieces have been pretty common. They've kicked around for a few years. Uh, you'll have to do some substitutions. But here I am opening the door, putting in the depth charges. There's a little door for them to come out the bottom. There's also a sprung Lego Technic rod that you push in. Don't pull out. If you don't have the spring, no big deal. But don't pull out or that'll happen. So you're just supposed to push in and that'll help to release them. It actually just prevents them from rolling out. But again, you don't need to have a spring there. It's a nice feature. This piece here, I want to show you a closer look. That center silver piece, that's an old piece from probably 70s or 80s. Everything else, this black detail I pointed to, those are all common parts. The window, however, a little more rare. Now this piece here, there's currently, that I'm pointing to, is currently available from LEGO. These tiles, these gray ones, you may have some issues locating the exact one, so you're just going to have to use some creative artistic license. But at any rate, I would substitute the round windows if you don't got them either with making a sticker on your computer or try to use the windows that are in the uh, airplane sets. There's currently a yellow uh, ocean exploration kit that you can use for the front windshield. You probably just order the parts separately. All right, so here we've got our mini figs. We've got a guy that kind of looks more like Captain Highliner, and then we've kind of got these two sinister, kind of angry looking guys. And as we'll see later on on the box, there's a fourth guy. He's a diver, he's got a wrench. So I guess if you don't take out your enemy with a torpedo, or this, what could be, I don't know, a little floating bomb ship. I guess you just send a guy out with a wrench. So I don't know what the purpose is of that, but I guess you take apart the enemy ship and they'll sink them that way if you don't get them with a torpedo. But let's take a look at the box. And here it is, it shows there our man with the wrench. And if we look up, oh, 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 it's made not by Lego, but by Enlightenment. But you know what? I found the parts to be really good quality. And I paid like something like 10 bucks US for it, just about around that price. So it's the Combat Zone series for what you're paying and the quality of the parts. I think it's an excellent value. If you're a Lego purist and you want it, well, then you have to use genuine parts. But quite frankly, I would just save the money. It's got an excellent play value, no missing pieces and an awesome price on the back. They don't show you how to build those other uh, things on the back of the box, so you're on your own for that. Here's obviously the pieces that come with it. So let's start our build. So in doing this again, pretty common pieces here, nothing too out of the ordinary. Again, don't worry about the spring. Later on, I made a little bit of an error when I was building uh, the upper part and uh, so you'll see some blue tape where I have to move the upper area where the guys would enter the top of the submarine. And as we continue our build here, you can see there's our round pieces going in. And that little black piece just ahead of that green axle, Technic axle, that's the door that flips up and down to let go of those depth charges. So we'd see a pretty straightforward build here. You know, I'm going to use some I guess what they call roof tiles, these angle pieces. Uh, again, fairly common, you can get that from Lego. Or just do what I did and just get the whole set from Enlighten. So that little black flash, that was to let you know that was that area where I had to do that little change and we saw that blue tape there. Curve pieces, again, those are standard Lego pieces. I don't know how common they are in gray, but I know there's a lot of sets I've seen them in. There's our periscope, kind of a cool detail. And then I guess we've got what we call this, our tail or our rudder. So again, we've seen these kind of pieces before in different spaceships. There's our depth charges. I think these are Technic detail parts, but again, I've seen those before. Here we are making our little mini sub or escape sub. I don't know what, what that's supposed to be, but I guess something along those lines. It'll 
unmanned rover to explore or something like that. So fun set. Best of all, there's no stickers. These are all printed pieces. So hopefully I've inspired you to build a submarine. Thanks for watching.